by the power of vested in me by the Lord Jesus Christ. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss your bride. I can't tell you how many times I've said that. And what I really want to say is, I now pronounce you man and wife. Good luck with that. There's a story in the Bible of a guy named Jacob who loved a girl named Rachel. And he worked for seven years to marry her. And because he loved her so much, the time just flew by. And then the big day came. And so did the next morning. Except when Jacob awoke, he discovered he had not married Rachel at all, but Rachel's sister Leah. Now, if you've ever read the story or heard it preached, we've all made the joke. How did that happen? How do you not know who you've married until the next morning? But the truth is, no one knows who they've married until the next morning, or the next year, or maybe even the next decade. So what do we do? I think the best option is something Jacob and Leah never figured out. Learn to love the one you're with.